everyone, my name is Anastasia and we continue our Object Box mini-series. So, in the previous episodes we discussed that first, to perform the efficient search within vector databases, the approximate nearest neighbor algorithm is used, shortly ALN. Second, for high-dimensional data, the most popular ALN algorithm is so-called hierarchical navigable small world algorithm, shortly HNSW. And third, that HNSW is based on two fundamental techniques, probability list and navigable small worlds, MSW. So, in the previous episodes, we discussed how those techniques are implemented and used for the search. And today, we will use this knowledge to discuss what is HNSW and how does it work. So, this video is technical. Therefore, we strongly recommend that you watch the two last episodes to follow today's discussion. So, what is HNSW? HNSW is a multi-layered graph with skipped vertices. So, let's dig into that. At each layer, the construction which we have is exactly the same as for navigable small worlds. So, we have vertices which are connected with each other with small and uh, short range links. The idea of multi-layerness and skipping some of the vertices comes from uh, uh, probability lists. So then it's implemented like that. The higher is the layer, the less vertices you have. So how does this construction look like? In the very upper layer, we have the smallest amount of vertices Therefore, they are connected with the longest links. And in the very bottom layer, we have all of the vertices present. Therefore, there we have the shortest links. <clears throat> so, how do we search within such a construction? Uh, first, we uh, just find some random entry point in the uh, upper layer. Then, similarly to MSW, we perform the greedy search. Uh, until we find the local minimum for this specific layer. Then we use our connections between layers and from this local minimum in the upper layer, we go one layer down uh, and this is our new entry point. Then we continue again the whole process going uh, from one layer to another, the most down until we reach the bottom layer and our result at the bottom layer will be the final result. So why such construction is beneficial? Um, like as you have noticed, uh, no matter how big was the network, we actually used only specific connections between vertices to find the final element. So therefore such a construction is fast and robust. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to put a comment and like and give us a feedback. Bye!